Do you swear to say the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I solemnly swear. Can you pat and rub your tummy at the same time? Pat my head and rub my tummy? Yeah. Go on. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Hello, my name's Priya and I'm back for another episode and today I'm interviewing someone from Aston Villa. The player I'm meeting today also has a degree in law. Priya's court is in session. Even though you're professional, does someone still bring you oranges at half time? Oh, that's a good question. I wish someone brought me oranges but at half time we actually have banana bread. Have you ever had banana bread? No. No, I think you should try it, it's really good. I'm quite fussy. Yeah. <laughs> have I you think... ever had banana crisps? Oh, the yeah, that's really hard. I don't like them. I'm, yeah. I'm not a fan. I, I don't like bana anything that's banana. Oh really? really like What's banana. your favourite fruit then? Um, strawberries, <sighs> apples and um, granny fruit. Oh, nice. Mine would be strawberries. Where did the nickname Maz come from? OK, so when I was in primary school, my friends thought I needed an easier name to say. So then they thought of the name Maz, and it's stuck ever since. Who was your footballing role model? Growing up, so when I was your age, I would say Stevie G, because he was at Liverpool at the time. And the women's player was actually Farrah Williams, which I've got a chance to play with. You've played for teams in the North, the Midlands and the South. Which part of the country is your favourite to live in? Oh, to live in. Obviously, I'd have to say Liverpool is its home for me. But I would say I do like living in London as well. It's an amazing city. So you've played for both West Ham and Aston Villa. Is that because your favourite colours are claret and blue? <laughs> Have you or your teammates got any weird pre-match rituals? I'd say Rusha. She gets ready super early, so as soon as we arrive, she's already in a match kit, which we all find pretty weird. And Shani as well, she eats all the banana bread, so I know, right? Which one of your teammates trains the hardest? Trains the hardest? I would say definitely Corsi. I think she's always doing it extra on the pitch. Yeah, Rachel Corsi, she's the captain of Scotland. And I would say Pets. She's also Pets. working hard on the I pitch. I like that name. <laughs> yeah, me too. Who was the laziest at training? Laziest? Oh, she won't mind me saying this, but I think Meg Sarge. <laughs> she's always chilling, just laid back. Yeah. <laughs> what made you want to become a lawyer? Oh, good question. I think. When I was growing up, me and my mum used to watch a TV show called CSI and NCIS and it's all about lawyers and the police and we really enjoyed it and she actually said if I could go play football I still have to get my law degree. So that was a deal that we made. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, one thing ever? Yes. I can only stick with it? Yes. That's hard. That's a hard choice. Tuna pasta or a salad, because I, I oh, like Oh, wow. Salad. You're healthy. With cheese and ham, um, lettuce, yeah. tomatoes and cucumber. Wow, that's super healthy. You could be an athlete. <laughs> me, I would say we have... My mum has taught me how to make these bao buns, so they're really soft buns, and like, you stuff them with like crispy chicken or pulled pork. So you can like put... Anything, anything you want it, yeah, yeah, I would say those. Do I have any hidden talents? Hidden talents, like secret talents? Yeah. I do have one, it's a little weird. Mm -hmm. I can make a really loud noise with my tongue. Can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a bubble. I know. So when, so when I want to pretend to say something in someone's ear, I go... You have to do your hidden talent now. Deal? Truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to show me the last picture you took on your phone. <laughs> I don't have my phone with me. I would, though. Truth, then. Truth. Who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> celebrity crush? Ooh. Okay, I've been recently, I say recently, I've been watching Formula One. Do you know the, the, the drivers in the really, really fast go-karts? Kind of, around the track? Is a, is a guy who, who drives for Ferrari, he's called Charles, I would say. 
I'll show you later, okay? I've got a present for you. What? Do you want it? Yes, please. Do you think you deserve it? <laughs> yes, yes, please. Okay. Since you've been doing such a good job interviewing everyone in the whole league, we've got you a signed filler shirt from all the girls. Thank you. No problem. So this is yours to take home. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> High five.